For today's project, I'm going to be working on my 2003 Mustang GT. And specifically, I'm going to be giving some attention to this uh, e-brake boot here. Uh, the stock one that came on the Mustang is made from uh, kind of a cheaper vinyl material. And you can see with mine here that it has split apart um, at the seams here. And it actually, I bought the car when it was three years old. And this was already split when I bought the car, so I'm assuming this is probably a common issue um, with Mustangs of this uh, year, or this vintage. I'm going to be replacing it with uh, a new one that is uh, genuine leather, um, which is nicer, and uh, we'll spruce up the interior a bit. Just a couple of quick tips before we get started. Uh, first thing, before you start this project... Um, just to let you know, it will involve removing this uh, entire uh, center console. So it's best um, that if you clean out your um, center console uh, cubby first, because you will need to access screws that are underneath the stock carpet. Uh, and also, another thing to keep in mind is that uh, we're working with delicate plastic parts. So uh, for my car, uh, it's 15 years old. So... As you know, plastic kind of gets brittle with time, so just keep that in mind and have some patience when you're taking apart uh, the plastic pieces. So the first step is actually um, you're going to remove the shifter bezel here. So the trick to taking this off is you can start at either edge and just gently pry up, start at the lip, so you hear a little pop, just like that, and kind of slowly make your way around. Nice and gently. So let's loose like this. Uh, the next step would be, uh, I have a manual transmission, would be to uh, unscrew the shifter knob. So that's just as easy as unscrewing it. So now with the shifter bezel uh, disconnected from the center console, you can just begin to kind of slide up the uh, this boot here. So next you need to disconnect the 12-volt uh, connector uh, right here. You do that by depressing on um, this clip here and pulling out to release it from uh, the socket here. So once that is free and clear, you can uh, put that off to the side. So once you have the shifter bezel removed, um, the next step is to remove uh, the two 7mm screws um, uh, holding the center console to the dash. They're located, there's one uh, right here and the other is right here. So I will remove those now. Once those two 7mm screws uh, have been removed, the next step is to disconnect this electrical connection uh, right down here on the driver's side. Okay, so once the driver's side electrical uh, connection is disconnected, you can uh, open the center console lid here, and you'll have to remove the carpet um, at the bottom here. You can set that aside, and you'll notice down in here there are uh, two additional 7 millimeter uh, screws holding the center console uh, in place. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew those next. So now um, that all the screws have been removed, the dash um, is now free floating. What you want to do now is pull the old e-brake boot up like this and over the handle. And then what you want to do is pull the e-brake as far high um, back as it can go. So next we have to lift the, uh, the center console up. Okay, I now have the center console totally removed. So now I'm going to take it out and put it... Uh, on a clean workbench so we can actually go ahead and start replacing the boot itself. Okay so I have my center console now on my workbench upside down and if you look down in here you can see how the um, e-brake boot is attached by six of these um, pound nuts right here so those are 10 millimeter so I'm going to grab my 10 millimeter socket and there's uh, two down here, two here, and two up there which uh, I will So once those out. are all uh, undone, I'll be able to reach in, pull out the old boot. Let's see here. So now we have our nice new leather boot here, in which we're going to uh, put in place.
And once that is all in place, you're going to uh, reinstall those six um, pound nuts uh, to the console. So here's a shot of it uh, right side up on my workbench here. You can see um, the new leather e-brake boot matches up pretty nice, fits well. So now we have to take this and reinstall it back in the car. So now I'm back in the car. I have the console roughly in place. And the trick now, this is where the patience comes in uh, comes in handy. So take your time. You have to slide the e-brake handle um, through the, the new leather boot here. And it's kind of hard to do it uh, juggling the, uh, the camera at the same time. So uh, let me just wrangle with this and I'll show you the finished results in a moment. Once you get the center console back in place, um, now would be a good time to um, test out the e-brake, make sure everything functions before you um, screw everything back to the dash and to the floor. So, looks like everything works well. So now uh, all you have to do is with your 7mm uh, uh, socket is reattach the two screws uh, located here and here and then also the two down in the um, center console uh, cubby here. Once the four um, seven millimeter screws are all in place, you can now take the carpet of your center console, put that back in place. Also at this point, you can now reconnect that electrical connection on the driver's side between these two here. You can grab your um, shifter bezel here and put that back in place, working the boot through the shifter lever here. Now before you uh, connect this, don't forget, you do need to reconnect the electrical connection for the 12 volt here. So to do that, you just simply put the electrical connection back in until you hear the snap, like that. So now fully work the way through this and then this simply just kind of snaps into place um, I'd start at one side work your way around just like that and then lastly grab your shifter knob line that up and just uh, screw that back on Here's a shot of the final product here. I hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.